teacher at the heart of education recovery. That's the theme for this year's World Teachers Day. Here in Ghana, the Ministry of Education and the Ghana Education Service are commemorating the day with a national event in Sunyane to celebrate hardworking teachers. Let's take you live to the USPET International Conference Center in Sunyane for the latest on today's program. The indispensable role of our teachers, with parents acknowledging the selflessness of our teachers. The theme for this year, Teachers Wanted, Reclaiming Teaching and Learning for a Human-Centered Recovery, is highly appropriate for the extraordinary times in which we find ourselves. Teachers are widely needed to boost the human resource capacity of our future generation in times like this. The government acknowledges this, and that is why even in the midst of pandemic, when a lot of teachers globally are losing jobs, we in Ghana continue to recruit more teachers to fill various vacancies in our schools. The ministry is highly proud that our radical move to rebrand the award has started bearing much fruit. Within the past four years of the rebrand, some Ghanaian teachers have distinguished themselves also at the international stage. Today, I have the singular honor to introduce to you Ghanaian teachers who have once again made our nation proud at the international stage. And I begin with Mrs. Theodosia Latele Opon of Ebri Girls SHS. She won the top award of the African Union Teacher Prize 2020, which was announced in December 2020. May she come up as we acknowledge her. Ladies and gentlemen, may she come up as Ms. Mrs. Theodosia Latele Opon comes up for due acknowledgement, shall we honor her. It is important to state that this is the second time in succession that Ghana has won the award, AU Teacher Prize. The maiden AU Teacher Prize in 2019 was won by Ms. Augusta Latin Young, Presbyterian Boys SHS. And also Mr. Robert Gariba was one of the top shortlisted Global Teacher Prize contestants in 2018. The second person to acknowledge is Mr. Evans O'Day of Achimota SHS, who was shortlisted among the top 50 of Global Teacher Prize. May he come up for us to acknowledge him. Mr. O'Day is still in a competition, and it is our prayer that he will make it to the top 10 and indeed ultimately bring home the prize of the world best teacher. We are already so proud of you all. So we acknowledge them as they humbly take their seats again. Thank you very much. Nananom, honorable ministers, I take this opportunity once again on behalf of Dr. Yao Seduchum, Minister for Education, to salute all Ghanaian teachers for your dedication and your sacrifices. Our teachers are great people and deserve every bit of this occasion, of course. It is not every teacher who will receive an award today. However, today is set aside to celebrate and honor all teachers from across the length and breadth of this country. For those who win awards today, I say are you cool for your outstanding performances and achievements in the noble profession. Nananum, honorable ministers, I also commend National Teaching Council, led by the Registrar, Dr. Christian Adepoku, and his team on behalf of government for consistently putting together this wonderful program to celebrate our teachers. Our teacher unions, UNESCO, UNICEF, Get Fund, GES, Occupational Pension Scheme, Glyco Pensions, Prudential Bank, Data Bank, SIC Life, and all other sponsors who have partnered us, including our media partners, Multimedia Group, we appreciate you greatly for your immense contributions to this occasion. Long live teachers, long live education, long live Ghana. God bless you. I thank you very much for your attention. <laughs> At this point, ladies and gentlemen, it is a great honor and a great privilege to introduce to you the guest speaker for today, the venerable and distinguished Minister for Tourism, Arts and Culture, 
Dr. Ibrahim Mohammed Awal, representing His Excellency Dr. Alhaji Baumia, the Vice President. Let's please give him a round of applause. Honorable Regional Minister, Honorable Deputy Ministers of Education, Registrar NTC, Nananum, Director General and Deputy Director General of the Ghana Education Service, the clergy, development partners, directors of education, teacher union leaders, invited guests, friends from the media, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I want to assure Nat, Madam, I'll convey your sentiments to His Excellency President Akufuado. And I can assure you, God willing, he'll be, he'll be with you next year. Thank you. I'll do that. I bring you warm greetings from the President of the Republic, His Excellency Nana Akufuado, and the Education Minister, Dr. Yaduchum, who will have been with us today but they have to attend other equally, other equally important assignments elsewhere. I therefore have the privilege and honor to read His Excellency's speech on his behalf. With all humility, I want to proceed. The Ghana Chair Prize 2021 is a fourth version of the rebrand of the Best Year Awards, which are intentionally standardized. The rebrand has chalked many success as said by the Deputy Minister and has made Ghana very, very high on the map. The role and importance of our teachers have become more heightened with the onset of COVID-19, where schools were closed, and many parents came to terms of appreciating the number of teachers' work. On this occasion, I want to thank the teachers for your role in during this COVID-19 pandemic. And please continue to do what you've done over the years to put the children at the center of education. We all know teachers play a very significant part in the development of our human resource, and they remain key in the achievement of the overall development of the country. Let me again use the opportunity to salute teachers for a human's role ever since Ghana attained independence. I echo our teachers. I am particularly grateful to teachers for your overall contribution to the success of our free senior high school program. So far, ladies and gentlemen, 1.6 million Ghanaian students have benefited from the free senior high school program. A significant leap in enrollment which has the potential to transform our country. On this occasion, I want to thank you teachers for ensuring that 1.6 million students have benefited from the country's free HS program. In line with government's efforts to empower teachers to better their social and potential lives, the MPP government, through the Ministry of Education and its agencies, with support from the partners, has collaborated with the Norwegian government to develop a comprehensive teacher policy. This project has established the Ghana Teacher Tax Force, which will assist the development of the comprehensive teacher policy for Ghana. The welfare, conditions of service, professional growth of teachers, and all the dimensions necessary to support the Ghana teacher to compete globally have been factored in this policy. The policy shall influence the way teachers are trained, how, how they live their lives, grow in the profession, and how they promote and ensure high attainment of learning outcomes. Also, the MPP government, ladies and gentlemen, is working assiduously to produce teachers who can withstand the test of time through implementation of the Ghana Teacher Alliance's policy and standardization of the professional development program for teachers. The theme for this year is Teachers Wanted, Reclaiming Teaching and Learning for a Human-Centered Recovery, which is appropriate for the external times in which we find ourselves. My government has seen the need to improve on the teaching student, teacher student ratio in our schools to avoid overcrowding. Since 2017, we have recruited 93,000 teachers at the pre tertiary level. This year alone, the Ghana Education Service is hoping to recruit about 40,000 more teachers and non teaching staff to further ease congestion in our schools. This initiative will help us reclaim teaching and learning for human centered recovery. The pandemic has taught us a lot of lessons in our schools and all of us. In all this one, teachers have been very central to our initiative approaches 
and responding to a pandemic and making teaching and learning very, very proactive. My government remains committed to our teachers' first policy in ensuring that our teachers who are sent up to any education reform are fully tooled, skilled, and supported to deliver quality learning accounts to support the government's developmental aspirations. We supported teachers in their continuous professional development policy by providing special incentives by way of professional allowances for them, and will continue to provide the necessary support to ensure teachers' quality, teacher quality suitable to meet the needs and challenges of our society. One teacher, one laptop policy is to help teachers prepare adequately in using the best practices. STEM education is the way to go now. This policy, ladies and gentlemen, will help teachers do a lot of research to help bridge the gap as far as STEM education is concerned. The World Teachers Day is a, as is known in Ghana, as is known in Ghana, is known as the Teachers Prize. It's an occasion to celebrate our teachers for their measurable sacrifices and con con continuous con contribution to ensure related teaching and learning. I wish all the 21 Ghana Teacher Prize awardees the very best. May they have the best in terms. The ultimate aim of the GTP, as it's called, is to provide appropriate avenue to honor outstanding teachers for the complementary exemplary role they play and the groundbreaking role they've worked to effect teaching and learning. It is further aimed at motivating teachers to go beyond the ordinary in their role of work. It is also through the spotlight on great teachers and share their remarkable stories, thereby inspiring and attracting many more high people to go into the teaching profession. The price underlines the importance of the teaching profession and symbolizes the fact that teachers throughout the world deserve to be recognized and appreciated and celebrated. I'm encouraging corporate bodies and individuals to donate to this worthy cause in recognizing our, the good works of our teachers, and I'd like to use the opportunity to thank all sponsors who have donated over the years to this our noble cause and to continue to do so in the coming years. I urge all teachers who believe in themselves to take the bold step and be on board to go for the ultimate prize in the subsequent years. And I wish all the best. Long live teachers, long live Ghana, and I thank you for your attention. Thank you for the program. All right, and so for us here at Join News, we also want to wish all teachers happy Teacher's Day. Mm -hmm.